Hey, good morning, good morning, guys and gals. It is a beautiful morning. What do you guys think, isn't it? I think it is an absolutely gorgeous day today. Definitely. No, for a lot of people it's going to be a sad day or pissed off day or whatever you want to call it. And for a lot of people it's going to be a yeah, oh yeah, happy, happy, happy day. And for me it is a happy day. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of the elections, the way it turned out with the elections. That's why I'm saying it's a happy day for me and probably it is a lot a happy day for a lot of other people now I know we've heard I think enough of this voting and election stuff over the news and everything radios and everything so I'm not gonna drag it on too much but but yeah here we are leaving the Sopaloid flying hook and get out of here and make our way home sweet home guys yes indeed it's time to get out of here so it's a beautiful sunny morning today that makes me happy too we are basically on the borderline of Wisconsin and Illinois so we will be in Wisconsin here in a few minutes. So let's get our day started, guys. Are you guys ready? We're coming right along on a beautiful sunny day today. Well, I mean, I can't promise it's going to be beautiful sunny all day long, but we'll try, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. So let's go see if that chicken house will be open today. I doubt it that they will be, but we'll see. I think everybody's got a hangover from last night. <laughs> yep, probably, but oh well. Now we gotta live with those decisions, right? But uh, yeah, we'll get back to Canada here probably tomorrow sometime. Uh, we got 771 miles to do yet. So that means we could probably get within 170 miles from home. Probably, something like that. So let's say if we do 600 miles today. That would probably put us somewhere in the neighborhood of Grand Forks, North Dakota, I would think. So we'll see how good we feel tonight. Maybe we'll make it up to Grand Forks, maybe not. Maybe we'll make it up to Fargo, maybe not, right? <laughs> You never know how far we will make her tonight. We'll give it a good shot. But I stayed up quite late last night watching uh, the, the numbers come in there for the presidential debates or uh, votes, I mean. So, I mean, I still got a decent sleep, but I kind of got woken up there about 5.30 this morning or something like that. So then I had a hard time falling back to sleep. All right, guys, we've been cruising now for about three hours, at least very close to three hours. And yeah, we're just still in Wisconsin up here. Looks like we got about 120 miles to go yet to uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. And yeah, we got some of the more interesting parts of Wisconsin right here. Got a little bit of a hills right here. I don't remember showing this hill too much before, so I figured, yeah, let's turn on the camera and show you guys a little bit of what we see today. So far, we're right. It's beautiful out here today. And I was just talking to the wife earlier, and she's talking about saying that it's supposed to be really nice all the way to the weekend. So uh, I made myself available right away tomorrow to go out on a short trip if they will give me one that would be awesome if not that will be okay too I mean I really would like to be back for Saturday by lunchtime at the latest so that way 
I can be in Winnipeg Saturday night and the reason being why I want to do that is we got Santa Claus Parade on Saturday now I know a lot of you guys liked it last year when I videotaped it and I would like to do it again this year but we'll have to wait and see if we're going to be able to make that happen the bad part about it is it's actually a holiday on Friday so it's going to be probably pretty much impossible for me to get any kind of short load because you know a lot of places are going to be closed on Friday so where are you going to go right so that's going to be kind of difficult but uh, hey we can never count out the dispatchers until we know for sure right uh, they are going to try their best and if they can make something happen or if they need me they're going to make it happen right and if not that's going to be all right with me too i guess uh i'm not going to complain about that i'm just going to take my reset and go again on saturday and that's the way it's going to be i'm going to have to go it on saturday but hopefully we get us a nice long trip that time then hopefully get a bit of a longer than what we had this this week but uh regardless we're gonna be available sometime this weekend <laughs> either either tomorrow we're gonna go out or we're gonna go out on saturday one of the way one of, one way we're gonna try and work this weekend and if we do get a load tomorrow and go on a short trip be back for saturday then i'll take sunday off and then i'll be back on our uh, to work on monday again but uh yeah we'll see what happens i guess only time will tell us and i'll keep my fingers crossed so we can have saturday off if not oh well we'll be working we gotta continue working this month make sure we get as many miles in as we can all right guys we got us about 33 more miles to go till we will be in st paul minnesota yeah and it's 11 after two so it looks like about quarter to three we will be in st paul minnesota so that means i think that we will be able to go through minneapolis kind of like just before the rush hour starts or just as it starts i guess something like that we'll see how it's going to be actually but uh that's kind of what i'm thinking there well that's an interesting color there for the truck look at that <laughs> they got a really weird paint job on that pickup there <laughs> wow <laughs> but yeah so let's see how uh minneapolis is going to be for traffic got a four-wheeler there on the shoulder so we're gonna move her over there so that way they can do their construction work or whatever they gotta do up there there we go but yeah so hopefully that will be good over there hopefully you can get through there with no problems and then we're pretty much home free after that we don't have no more big cities to go through that's it guys looks like i'll probably be in fargo tonight or something like that we'll see how i feel but i know it's probably another three hours a little over three hours from probably about three and a half hours probably from on the other side of construction ahead. minneapolis to uh fargo so so yeah we probably have our work cut out for us actually because i know it's about four hours to get home from fargo and i think i have just enough hours to where I could cut it down to about three hours I would have to do uh, like go a little bit past Fargo and I could probably do that there is a rest area there about 45 minutes north of Fargo so depending on how everything goes here and how I feel tonight I'll probably make it a little bit past Fargo or right around the Fargo area one of the others will end up being there so Still haven't got no message yet from dispatch to see if they give me a load tomorrow. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to check in tomorrow and find out if 
they're going to give me anything. But yeah, we'll continue on with our journey. Well guys, we have made it to Grand Forks, North Dakota, guys. Yes, indeed we are. Here we are. We got uh, a spot over here and uh, actually there was quite a few spots left over here. So uh, now we're uh, going to go to bed here pretty soon. We got us a good day worth of miles and today we kept that left door closed pretty steadily. We only stopped one time to take our half an hour mandatory break and that was it, you know. Other than that, we just hammered down and given her. So, uh, hey. Let's go ahead and take care of business and then uh, we'll have us a good night's sleep here. We'll get up early tomorrow morning and get the heck out of here and make our way home and hope for the best that we can get us a short trip yet, right? But uh, with that being said, appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down there below. Hit that subscribe button if you're not uh, subscribed to us yet. We would love to have you on board. Follow our daily journey. And also in the description box down there below, there's all kinds of information in there for you guys. Sometimes I get questions, what kind of camera I use and whatnot, you know, so uh, all kinds of goodies in there. So go ahead and look that up. So we'll see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out.